every dog that's died since I was a kid, we say he's going to live on a farm outside of Wichita. And that's no one ever the ultimate that. sign Man. that you're dying. That must be a nice thing. Oh, huh? my, yeah, in Philly, they just hold like, him by a light bulb <laughs> and let him swing. Your there. brother snapped his neck. Wait, why? <laughs> hey, yeah, he, he barked at somebody wrong. <laughs> he was a loser. <laughs> <laughs> he was a loser. Yeah, they're crazy. Uh, We're rolling. We're good. Oh, we are? Yeah. We're oh, thank All God. All right. Fully wasted this gold. Man. <laughs> well, welcome to the Comedy Star Podcast. What number is this? Seven, what number is this? 7,000. Um, yeah. Well, we've we've Nobody recorded knows. seven thousand, but Ari, this is the forty we fifth we've doing released. Them. Will they be in order? <laughs> so they will not be in order. You'll see Rick at the, the first three hundred were not shirt. recorded. Uh, we I recorded we one with Argus twelve years ago. It was hot. I believe a hot podcast. That oh okay, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I don't, no clue. I couldn't even I don't know what number, what number we're on. It is. It, we're August, up there. I kind of remember that. We are up there, yeah, though. Yeah, you're up there in numbers. Every over, time we get a new digits. production crew, I start over. <laughs> <laughs> it's like AD. Like, you know? This is like Argus's sobriety. Like, every time he fell off, he has to start over. So this yep. is, we're like that. We're kind of stumbling along. So Jimmy Kimmel was on the island. Maybe. You believe it? What? Maybe. 100%. But... He tunneled. He wasn't invited on the plane. He had whoa, a tunnel whoa, whoa. there. He, he tunneled? Uh, yeah, under tunnel. the ocean. Yeah, under the ocean. We all got... A lot got... of people haven't... I don't that, think not a lot of people this. have yeah. done oh, that. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, you might... A... Uh, maybe... I don't know. Maybe you got someone else. The is this a Gaza connection? It is a Gaza yeah. connection. Okay. He's, a, he's a known cuck, and what he did was he tunneled <laughs> under, <laughs> known went cuck, to Mexico, huh? stole their technology, took it all the way to Epstein Island. Does Elon Musk have anything to do with this? He's got that underground drill yeah thing. yeah he was using yeah, yeah. a lot of electrical drills yeah. you know what i mean I think, do Musk. you believe this what were you just with eddie bravo <laughs> <laughs> listen eddie, eddie allows to you on any conspiracy <laughs> yeah 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 he told me nuclear weapons don't exist <laughs> i'm like you all you he did in, yeah or you can't get distracted what, what is, is what is there fucking elevator going music going on it's the original room. Oh, nice. Somebody's going up. Is We're Barry underneath. Diamond's doing his fucking four non blondes. I was walking in Memphis. Yeah, yeah. I, was try- I was trying to explain to somebody. First of all, I thought he was dead, and somebody's like, I don't think he is. Yeah. I'm like, alive. I'm he died like five years ago. Last time and I saw him, he's alive. He's alive. Yeah. yeah. Last time I saw him, he was on the local news, <laughs> and it said, Barry Diamond, local Venice resident. And I went, That's really how he should be known. <laughs> And now he's walking in Memphis, and his hair is stark white. It's stark a, white. Really? It's yeah, a jarringly wow. white. Um, yeah, I, so I had to follow Willie Tyler and Lester. Just a week ago. Last week. Yeah, So back. we weren't going back and in time. This has just happened. I will say this. <laughs> 2023, it was the end of 2023, they uh, are not a puppet. Audience, <laughs> and they're going to see Willie he's, Tyler and Lester. He was in the main room. He's just part of the lineup. And, oh, and yeah, really, it comes out. It's like, what, <laughs> what is this? Dude, if I see Lester and Lester walking around, dude, he, old, oh. so I assume it's a puppet. Dude, he opened with a song, not a funny song, just a song, <laughs> and then went to a little bit of shtick, and then he was like, what, what, "You want to sing another song?" And he's like, "Yeah, I do." And then I'm looking around, the crowd's just like. What's going on? <laughs> he was like, he I just, played arenas. He does a full other song. It's like five minutes. Not funny. We don't have any. I now. was so confused. I didn't There's know like puppets. Oh, oh. Willie really Brown like or Woody. I remember him from them. Saturday morning as a yeah. very sure. small child. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, huge. So it, he was huge. It was he was pretty huge. Weird. Yeah, I remember. I know Woody shot himself, and then Willie Brown committed suicide shortly after. Really? Yeah. Woody yeah. went first, though. Woody shot himself. Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. so I was it a murder suicide? suicide. Yeah. That no, was no, what I was told. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't the be sure if he shot like... the man <laughs> and then himself. <laughs> he realized he could not literally live without. That would be <laughs> that would be a hilarious way to kill. You have your puppet and then have the puppet hands pull the trigger. <laughs> yeah, that's it's the only way to go up. out. As if a, you're, yeah. as a puppeteer, a villain yeah. yeah. like, whatever the oh, words you are. You have to go. Your life isn't worth living. I don't know why it's a little hobo, but. I assume any murderous puppet turns into a little hobo. hobo yeah. For you just sure. Gotta, they have to find it where the puppet's hands are around the finger. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I like, like it. Then decide to tell, tell the family. Like, would they like to know? <laughs> Probably. 
Yeah. The family we'll meaning closure like to know. a table or like Woody's family or the man's family. Well, I don't know who the hell Woody is. I don't know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know who he's talking about. Great oh, just, oh, Willie Brown and Woody is, Woody's is the just the old prospector Woody's Tyler Tyler <laughs> Mitzi, Mitzi replaced her black eye with a puppet with a different black eye with, with a puppet. puppet. The absolutely. story is old as time. Yeah. yeah. And that's basically that's what same happened, old story. What I was told. Did you, what is this? Look, I love. I mean, I don't like, love uh, it. I shouldn't I say. I was watching Yentl the other day, and you're giving me anxiety. What is this? <laughs> I, oh, I, I like you fell in love with Yentl. I, I haven't touched it since March. What's the grossest thing? <laughs> As no, God I demands. feel like Barbara Streisand's trying to stroke your hair. <laughs> so jealous uh, about that president's sweatshirt. Really? I got a feeling there's only one when I saw it. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. There's only Wait, one. Wait, this shirt, you're jealous yeah. of it? The best Legion of Skanks merch, it says president under it. I like it. There's only, there's only one. There's only one. And Ari is the president? In a free and, and fair president. election he wanted. Yeah, of a podcast oh, I'm a part I of. Oh, I do remember this. He's not even part of the podcast. No. No. But he can make a lot of decisions. They like outside candidates. Over <laughs> yeah. the, uh, Outsiders. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In, it's like how Peru will have a Japanese point. guy president for some reason. <laughs> right. You're like, Japanese? Like, yeah, they do that. Yeah, that's what happens. That makes sense. Honestly, I'm all for America being no foreigners allowed. But yeah. if a Japanese guy ran, I'd be like, hey, maybe. You know. Do you know that? I want no, Canadians deported. Well. I'm going to throw that out there. Uh, it, Wait, Canadians so, the hell out of our, my country. First of all, you wouldn't be the first person on this podcast to put that idea that's out. That's his whole act. Uh, 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 rid of all I can't even Order. believe the influence Canadians have on shit here. It's more than you think. <laughs> <laughs> the Jews. Well, it's finally. the Canadians. Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm oh, fine with Jews unless they're Canadian Jews. Right, that's a problem. It's the maple. That's a underground. double negative. That's really what's running things. <laughs> Ever since Rick Moranis was the king of Hollywood, <laughs> they pretty much had <laughs> us. A lot of people are always like, "Dude, you know Second City? It's the best, right?" And those are the people that you can just immediately stop talking to. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Do you remember when he got uh, in New York, some black guy during the BLM times, just randomly decked knocked him, him out? Yeah. yeah. He just yeah. saw Rick Moranis and, that, and punch him. That. Kind of turn things, I think, to the right for the American population. Yeah, they're like, oh, we could just punch these no, people. I, that black man was a hero. I want to <laughs> put that out there. Didn't Bill Burr open his monologue on SNL with that? Uh -huh. Like, what? that uh, New York is back. Rick Moranis got knocked out yeah. on the Upper West Side or I something. I think they had no idea it was Rick Moranis. I think they're like, let me just punch us. You think they didn't know? I they wouldn't do it to Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what right. What Ghostbusters <laughs> wouldn't you punch, sir? <laughs> right. <laughs> but Rick uh, Rick Moranis definitely would get. I mean, no. it's like something from a movie. <laughs> like the like the that. Ghostbuster demon dog went for him first. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Man. That's right. The dog did go for him. I think the Gozer. giant ant in that shrinking movie, but I don't really remember it. But I'm gonna assume. What was that? H honey, I shrunk the yeah. kids. There's that was a whole, the shrinking movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't think of it. Series of honeys. Honey, I. Oh shrunk really? The, honey, I blew up the. Honey, yeah, that's right. They oh, moved on. They, blew they up did the like kid. an earnest goes to camp kind of shit. Yeah. They should have stopped with the honeys and started more with the shrinkings. Yeah. <laughs> Different shrinks. <laughs> Enough like with this. the shrinks. And more with the shrinkings already. I mean, I'd like a shrinkable. When what is, is the this? shrinkings going to begin? It's this shrinking movie. That's what I a like. Blessing By the way, I don't know you brought up Jim Varney. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Harris. I didn't mean a to bring up your comedian favorite. A fine comedian and a fine man. Oh, he's a fine man. You Harris like him? Pete. Only he was, he he was the nicest man that ever lived. I don't want to hear you say a word about him. Let's talk about Stephen Pearl. <laughs> Wait, who's that? <laughs> uh, old door guy. He oh, was God. here for like, I don't know, 30 years maybe? He was a nice man. Like, oh, nice. Can I talk to you about it? Oh, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no rub off on the Varney. Yeah, you didn't get any varnish. That was the Varney story. He was vicious. <laughs> Who was the guy that used to hang out? He was like a, a crazy vet from Iraq. They used to hang out here all the time in the front. Oh yeah, Johnny Jeff. Zapp? Jeff. Nah, Jeff. Yes, I like Jeff. He was Not a Marine. Who? Nah. Yeah, he was a, a younger huge kid. Fan. Of that guy, he was I a little like uncomfortable. Jeff. So I met him. Well, I remember I met him, and he's shivering. He's telling me all this. I mean, he, he, all he, he loses it. He, he loses tells you really? stuff about Iraq that yeah. is like, yeah. oh, and they have that HBO show Generation Kill that he's from that platoon. Oh no. yeah, and he was telling me these crazy ass stories. Unbelievable! About, like if you let him talk, yeah. you could be like. So I didn't know anything about him other than this, and he kept as he's telling me about Iraq, and like there's some retarded girl tied to a. Dog house in the out in the you yeah. know wherever the hell they were. Yeah, just chewing a stick. This is a horrible story. 
And um, he goes, you know, that's what some of you is. Fuck this place. But he's just like. <laughs> he would just turn it into fuck the comedy. Sort of and, and, and I go. And I'm, he couldn't I'm, get in. So, yeah, I had no idea who he was. And I'm <laughs> not understanding he's probably an open micer at all. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, why do you come here? In my head, I'm like, why do you come here if you hate it? Yeah. It's trauma. And, and he told me like three more bad. And Horrendous I just, stories. He would, and he would do it also. Like he would come up to me after my set and he'd be like dude that was funny and then he would tell me the one joke he liked and then segue it directly into in murderous yeah. situations and if you're not upset <laughs> where he sees yeah. civilians being slaughtered and you're just like dude as I'm talking to him I realize <laughs> that is similar to my crowd work tonight <laughs> you're murdered but you're he, murdered. he wouldn't one. like he would tell you a story that's fucked up and if you could take it he would like he wanted to see you like Cringe uh, or something. He wanted yeah, to see like, you, well, a that's not a reaction. bad enough story. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. that's when I learned that like, nothing on this earth uh, can hurt worse than not being past the comedy story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just cannot believe a combat veteran. Yeah, it's yeah, that yeah. hard. That, that hard. He's seen it's, some real shit. Yeah. Real, real shit. One night we were in the parking lot. And I don't know if you know him, but Freeze Love. You guys uh -huh. know it. Have you ever heard of Freeze Love? I don't know. <laughs> he did New York. Love. He did New York he a died. little bit. Oh. No. Perry! I just want to. I haven't seen him. Remember. What's wrong with you? He was. Uh, he was. Freeze Love yeah. is amazing. But like one of the best. Cross the board. One of my His favorite people. Eddie Griffin. He would just yeah. always be smoking. Yeah. He was. Yeah. He always. was on the road like, with, with Charlie Murphy. Yeah. But he was also in the. I believe in the Navy for a long time. Yeah. Right. So he's very smart. So we're talking, and Jeff is going in and out of stories and not getting past and killing innocent <laughs> women and children. And yeah. then I didn't get past, and nobody will let me a showcase. Like just going back and forth and freeze love. He's a really big guy, gentle, sweet. But he pulled him over. He goes, "Hey, man." You off your meds? <laughs> and I was just like, uh, freeze, everybody can hear you. <laughs> it was great. And Jeff was like, oh, I, I take some stuff, but yeah, not tonight. And I was like, oh my God. Because you know why he wanted to drink? People that yeah. have to take their meds won't, if they want to drink, they won't take their fucking meds. Maybe. I a lot drunk. of that. Maybe. Yeah. Drunk. Yeah. You take your, I thought you need those meds that make you drunker. Yeah, and no, he, he didn't take them so he could drink, I bet you anything. And there's a decent chance that he drinks every night so he doesn't ever take them. That's smart. And he went, oh, oh look at this. I got a pretzel from the comedy store. Bro. Dean Cuisine, everybody. Is this a <laughs> you want the comedy store? It comes with a salt rim, two Chef packets Boy of Ardine. two packets of mustard, and diarrhea. <laughs> That's called the, the Jer Bear pretzel. Uh, oh, yeah? Named after my stepdad, bro. <laughs> Jerry? Bro. Jerry the ice machine? Don't yeah. <laughs> Jerry the ice machine. Ice man. <laughs> Did I have flashbacks to this? I have a at the stand, they have an ice machine in the back. I'm just like, who fixes this? <laughs> I don't know. We have a service. I'm like, okay. We uh, uh, this is Kurt doesn't know who those people are. You can't just say that like that. He doesn't know. You have to explain it. Or they're Jews, Kurt. Uh, they're anyway, Jews. Okay, I mean, they uh, just fix duh. things for no reason. Uh, <laughs> Jerry not only would fix the ice machine, but he was uh, having intercourse with the mother of the manager of the comedy <laughs> club at the time. Yeah, and so she was like but seventy. That's not Mitzi. That's a no, different no, 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 no. no. This she is, was a seventy year old slut used to hang out here. <laughs> Mitzi was not a fan of this this couple at really? all. Yeah, she did not like them. Was she hot? <laughs> she, uh, you can tell she probably lady was. was probably. She carried yeah. herself like someone who is. was hot forty years ago. Is hot. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely still Don't puts bikini pics you. in her seventies on the uh, Facebook. So. She was always drunk. And Jerry would be great because he would literally sit in the back five nights a week. Like this. Because he didn't like the stand up. And he'd be like, the, the speakers are too loud. <laughs> Why are you in here then, dude? You're not enjoying the situation. Why are you here? But I, like, you'd be on stage, and there's some nights where it was so dead that you'd really just be able to see the dude in the back. And you're just like, why is he doing why is it? And no one else could fix the ice machine for free. <laughs> for free. So he got carte blanche just to do like whatever the fuck he us. wanted. <laughs> was, and the ice machine broke. Twice a week. Because he wouldn't guy was fix it fully. Yeah. Fix he it. wouldn't fix yeah, it's it. It's this fucking ice machine. It's like, you sure it's not the repair man? <laughs> <laughs> the ice machine was that dude's mom, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he could never quite I, get it. I'm, <laughs> I'm How, sure. How's the pretzel? I want to know. Delicious. Rate it compared to Andrea's cookies back in the day. <laughs> Is this podcast for people that used to work here? <laughs> okay, I apologize. That's a bad one. I used to. Be <laughs> I remember that guy with the ice machine. Coach <laughs> is like, I don't know, I don't know who you're talking about, guys. I mean, I hesitate to say inside baseball because it's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's more like it's not the problem. It's not as it's it's not enjoyable. Not the band, that's why. I can say that there's probably at least 15 to 30 people who know about Jerry, the ice machine fixer. Yeah. <laughs> and those people are going to be very excited. It's a very Dying niche. laughing. Yeah. Do you guys get more viewers in the Seller podcast? Because uh, the Seller podcast does not get a lot. Really? Not at all. Interesting. I'll well, have no like idea. TV people. We at least have no the Dean 15. No one cares. No one listens to it. I have no, no one yeah, listens no to idea. it. Interesting. Yeah. We have He a talks good... about it a lot. Like, you hear, it's like a few comments, but you hear the new episode. And everyone's like, no, what happened? Is it, <laughs> is it it's similar? Like, we get good listeners, but then we also get like comedy store listeners that they're, they worked here or work here and they want to know if we're talking about them. Because, oh, because of Rick, he likes to, he's a loose cannon. I don't, first of all, is that driving subscriptions? <laughs> <laughs> just, just angry comics is the bulk of our yeah. listeners. We, did, oh God. Strong, we got, we yeah. got some heat one time because I was doing Legion of Skanks and mm -hmm. um, Rick was interviewing uh, Jeff Garland oh, and yeah. he asked oh, yeah, he where was very Eleanor upset by was. The very, the very idea. <laughs> the offensive oh, name was great. Skank. What do you think? Why? Why, why would you want to be associated with skanks? <laughs> I would never do a skank. <laughs> I don't even like the word. He would. He, he should work for Sony. His fucking mind yeah. that I was doing. Dude, he was having Legion a full yeah. amazing breakdown of like insanity. <laughs> yeah. Well, Big J called it when he's like, when yeah. he was going, he was like, he was like, everyone's like, how? Why can you go off on us? What's the problem? And Jay's like. He's covering for something. Yeah. <laughs> and then like 100%. a week later, he was like, hey, you're fired from your job. Well, Rick was bringing all that up in that episode anyway. Dude, like, he, he was bringing it up. Oh, yeah, you're right. He was bringing he was it like, up. The people on set have a problem with me making jokes. <laughs> and I'm like, the set of what? You call him like, I didn't even know. The set of Did what? Of a show Skanks? you've never heard of because TV's dead. I had no idea. The and 80s Goldbergs or whatever the fuck. Was that what it was? Yes. I don't know. The Goldbergs. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? You're free, Malcolm in the Jewish middle. Who gives a fuck? Fuck about that show. <laughs> who gives a shit about TV? Dude, the guys are all. This guy's still making twenty grand a week. Man, he, he, cle he, he clearly yeah. had been checked and was very upset about yeah. it. And then I can't even say I want to touch a bosom without people getting angry. <laughs> That's a funny word. Did he say that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the whole episode was bizarre. You know whose bosoms you could touch? Skanks. <laughs> uh huh. Dude, at the end, no of the problem. End, bosoms. No problem. Oh, you know who never complains about that kind of shit? The Legion, Legion of Skanks. Of skanks. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I, Where in the he interview, would fit I'm like, perfectly. I think you like their crowds. I think, I think it, <laughs> no! <Skanks. laughs> Why would Eleanor be there? <laughs> he freaked out. No idea at all what it meant. Or what, what did it he was. think? It, yeah, what did he I must just, have thought it was something? I think he thought like, it was like porn or something. I think it was like you line up, they have to bend over and lose their virginity. Right. <laughs> Dude, remember when I've I was... been to events like that? <laughs> <laughs> it always is badly. I tried to have one backstage at the production. <laughs> Feelers get hurt. <laughs> the Goldbergs don't like it. Uh, Dude, yeah, at the, at the end of the episode, I'm like, do you have any advice? And he's like, I would say if you're a comic, don't work for Sony. All right? <laughs> Whatever you do, solid. And he's still on like, the show at this. But point. how does he like, know that unless he's worked with skanks? Right. It's very true. He is. Remember the head skank that got hacked by North Korea? No. Yeah, the chick who brainstormed the female Ghostbusters. <laughs> Shit. You know what I'm talking about? No. no. You must know who it is. This is inside baseball. What are you saying? I don't understand all these words all together. <laughs> okay. The ding, Amy Pascal's her name. The ding oh, that yeah. was in charge of Sony. Okay. And that was her. Oh, yeah. So all these awful fucking Sony. I mean, he's right. Jeff Garland saying that. But yeah. she got hacked because they made that movie about killing Kim Jong-un. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now I'm now it's yeah, coming to Rogan. me. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. I never saw the movie, James but Franco, she got ha yeah. hacked. And, and then what? And so uh, I didn't realize she was the head of Sony. Right in my hacked head. her email. They leaked her racist jokings with some guy. Well, here's the. Uh, you think Obama likes like no? He probably likes Kevin Hart. That's like one of her <laughs> internal emails. It was very embarrassing. And then, uh, I mean, not as embarrassing as the female reboot of Ghostbusters. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, just bad. on the Fair. face of it, that they made. Right. They got, really, that guy, that director. Did they even get Ernie Hudson? Yes. You don't get all of them. Were sort of, they were all not in it? as okay. Okay. Not as uh, not as the characters from Ghostbusters. Yeah, no, so, they weren't in it, were they? Yeah. I didn't see it. I, I didn't watch it. Ari, you're having a problem. It, it does come with a napkin. Uh, and it comes with a free napkin. <laughs> you can take home to your loved ones. <laughs> mustard dripping right. off his we face. Ari, I've used that one. one. Jesus <laughs> Christ, like the blood of a Palestinian baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow, just like they bleed. <laughs> I think he's getting Starship Troopers confused. Casper <laughs> <laughs> Van Dien here. <laughs> 
Argus is here. You know Argus, right? Uh huh. Yeah, of course. Wait, so no. right, have you watched Argus lately? No, I haven't. Uh-huh. This dude fucking destroys now. Please tell him what he said to you when you walked. <laughs> Who's that guy? Uh, like other Argus. Like, what? Fraser? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fraser, yeah. yeah. Fraser's uh, Argus uh, wet, uh, Argus East. That's because yeah. he used well, to work the lab factory. Argus. Yeah, yeah, yeah East Argus. Yeah, yeah. He's a, a <laughs> 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 uh, it's Argus like Dylan McDermott and Dermot Mulrooney. Right. It took me a while to understand it was two <laughs> Figure guys. Figure that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a tough one. Yeah, Argus, he embraced being a creepy boomer. But he's doing it. He's so crushing. good. So good. Crowd, crowds like him a disturbing amount. Like, like when you watch insane. it, you're just like, no fucking way. Crushing. And I love millennial women. And the crowd's like, Ugh. oh, and then, that makes Holtzman sound easy on the ears. That kind of talk. And then, and then he just goes super creepy into it, and everyone's like, yeah, this this makes sense. Did you still recycle jokes? Oh yeah. Uh, Did he do the I changing got, the yeah, political I, figure? I, I, I goes, same joke. There's a five day weather forecast for Palestine. Just came out. It's only three days. <laughs> what did it used to be? Uh, Iraq. Right. And then, er, he and then the is that more of a commentary about again? America than the, his set? <laughs> I mean, it just sounds like he's doing what, working with what he's been given. <laughs> same fight. He's, he's a great a comic. Observational yeah. humorous. Yeah. Oh you my can, god! You can tell the war machine's working by Argus's reusage of jokes. Easily. <laughs> yeah. Easily. And that, it, it wasn't a one-time fight. I did see Stephen Pearl get almost accosted by like a 75-year-old Navy veteran in La Jolla once for oh, making so good making uh, Gulf War One jokes about Gulf War Two and just trying to like. <laughs> well, I wrote these. 10, was the guy mad ago. because of he goes, "Hey, that's Gulf War One." <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Told, he told him to s- stop talking about. Things he doesn't know, and then the crowd literally <laughs> just turned back around and looked at Stephen Pearl like, "How are you gonna?" Yeah, I mean, I go, dude, you're in the Navy. Like, we don't need. That's the place we need you the least. Yeah, yeah. in yeah, sand, it, it you're just giving the, the real put fighters your a ride. Flippers away. We don't need that. <laughs> We're dude, in the desert, sir. First of all, this is the plot of In the Army Now, starring Polly Shore, Andy Dick, David Allen Greer. Yeah, so maybe he does know a little thing about yeah. it. Solid fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, solid <laughs> movie. Very solid movie. <laughs> the plot made sense. They didn't at all borrow from Stripes. Right. Uh, you know, it was just... <laughs> I forgot Stripes. How? Because I didn't really, really? watch it. Oh, Second I City, love yeah. He was more of a... Fuck that. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was fuck Second City. This whole podcast is just oh, about how Second City is funny. for frauds. Did you, ever... you didn't have any mustards. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever say that much? <laughs> <laughs> I just watched uh, Martin Short uh, doing talking about something that's like a recent... Interview. Uh-huh. So I just thought it was funny too. I mean, aside from fuck second city. Hey, edit this out. I'm, I have a I have a bottle and camera. <laughs> Make sure to edit this out. Uh, Pull a fucking get over you. <laughs> Crystal Geyser. Number one sponsor. Did you here at the drink Geyser? <laughs> They're asking about three fucking amigos or something, right? Yeah. And he's talking about this. And like every five minutes, he throws in like a I don't know, like some presents. I guess it was like during the Trump years he did this interview. <laughs> He brings up Donald Trump like five times out of for no reason, talking about the three amigos. Like, or like, did you guys used to fuck? Yeah. <laughs> why? How is that correlate? Why it really he... hit him hard? Martin Short, oh, a Canadian. That's... What's what's again a Canadian? <laughs> what's great about Martin Short is he is hysterical seven percent of the time. Okay. And then ninety three percent of the time, you're like, I don't he understand just a what he's it's doing. Dating. <laughs> I speak very high, and then I speak very low. Oh, I love that character. That's one of my favorite things he did. Jiminy Glick? Yeah, that's it. Jiminy Glick. I like Jiminy Glick, too. Yeah. Jiminy Glick too. Why yeah. He, yeah. Wasn't nah, he the like church lady? No, that's Tim Carvey. Oh, they, they're Carvey. Okay. All that's right, not I got the you. same person. Yes. It's not the same person. No, but they Pretty all they look different. alike. Yeah. <laughs> Dana kind of just does Kyle's fucking uh, Biden. Really? I think. Sounds very similar. Kyle Dana is Carvey's so doing fucking stuff good. Publicly? Not really. He has a podcast. A little bit. Spade. He does. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, heard of that. I think Fly he's on funny. The wall or something. Yeah, he's funny. But yeah, he's, yeah, he's, funny. He's, he's super nice, at least. I don't know how funny he is, but he was <laughs> funny. got real quiet. You know who else is nice? Uh, who? Jim Stern? Varney. Oh. Jim Varney. Jim Varney nice was a guy. saint. A and saint. if I hear a bad word about him or any of the Ernest movies, you will find yourself on Sunset Strip. The whole Strip. trilogy? I was Vern. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking to me. Big reveal. He was the original Vern. 
<laughs> oh, well. <laughs> listen, man, that's cool. I don't know. I just Do you, uh, I don't get royalties because I was off camera. <laughs> Dude, they, did you guys see the car commercials he was in? Do they have that in Kansas City and Philadelphia? The what one is, that what does that mean? The, that's, by the, the way, Ernest that sounds character. so racist or what? something, Ari. The way no, you said yeah, it. Yeah, that character. He's yeah. like, hey, Vern, come on down. Start yeah, something. Yeah, I started started in Jersey. Yeah. So why are you saying they wouldn't have it in Kansas City I, I or Philadelphia? Because local car dealerships. He was already doing it. Oh. Because they only got steers or queers. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of Kansas City f yes. I said that last Man, episode. <laughs> keep saying it. Whoa. Man, and just make sure you keep the Kansas City part in so that <laughs> people <laughs> know. Kansas City. <laughs> I don't want you to know. Punch up. Beep, beep. Ari, I can't believe how right you were when Howard Stern had a beef with you because you said, like, Hold on, you had a beef great. with Howard, Howard Stern? And at the time, oh, I know, never I heard of him. He had it with me. Podcasts yeah. were not as big at the time. Yeah. I can't believe how much it, I don't give a shit about Stern now. Don't give a shit. He had already become a shell of himself. I can't believe what anybody has he ever, achieved in his life. ever gave a shit about him. Sorry. I, I, I never... Has he ever made a man divorce because he's a rival DJ? <laughs> <laughs> he was so big, and now people are like, who? Yeah, I, I mean, I know. You know, like when he talks to celebs? <laughs> In-depth talks with celebs. He has like two he listeners. Always, and one he is always Big has Jay, the and same. One is Big Jay on the rerun. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Wait, you tell me, Jay still? Jay's a loyal listener. Jay really? has a fucking purse now. What is going on? <laughs> what is happening? He's a Louis Vuitton handbag. Man, he's a he's one of those. What are they from Kansas City? Kansas City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't even notice it. But, but he, isn't he from Philadelphia? He's got a wealth issue where he goes, I should have expensive things. He bought $6,000 luggage once. And I was like, what are you doing? He goes, you got to have nice luggage. I'm Whoa. Like, he's getting torn apart. He's transitioning. Really? He lost it. Jay's transitioning. He's transitioning. He lost Smart. it? Yeah, he joined the Soho house too. <gasps> I remember that. And he goes, I can take meetings there. I'm like, what meetings do you have, Jay? What are you talking about? You play video games all day. And by the way, why would Soho House have you? They have don't you have to go through to a whole keep thing? You out, right? No, they, why would you want to join that why shit? Because he wants to be this rich guy. He's oh, I'm gonna join the Friars Club while I'm at it. <laughs> <laughs> Look how angry they open that up again. <laughs> oh, they closed the books. <laughs> <laughs> They're opening the I books at the Friars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I I'd rather be. If you, want, you, in, if you I... want to wake up in a tub of ice and Uncle Milty has your organs, <laughs> <laughs> as long as he's teabagging me, I'll do it. I love all... Uncle Milty has bad. a big cock, didn't he? That was oh, the, sorry. That was the he rumor. stole it from a schwarz. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be a made mob person than in the Friars Club. So I remember going up in New York and I got, because I wrote for Chappelle, they invited me to go to some fucking party there. And it was like, you want to join the Friars? Like these old men. And it was You're so like, creepy. Dude, get the fuck It was creepy as shit. Yeah. They, I'm not going to come a, here and smoke cigars with you. There was two guys for, that would come here Take a and hang out in like the early 2000s. <laughs> and they were like, oh man, we're from the Friars yeah, Club. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. And they would, it was all if you did any sort of crowd work during your set where you were mean and you got a good response, they'd come up to you afterwards and talk you up like, Dude. we're going to talk to the guys. And I'd be like, the guys? Who, which guy? There was we four people hey, here. Hey, how'd you like a job writing jokes? I'll pay you with a steak. <laughs> I didn't even know, like, like, the Comedy Central thing, like, we're no longer associated with that. I'm like, oh, yeah. oh that's all I, I know about Rose. Yeah, they were the Rose. Dude, or... I was at yes. the last, so for Marin, I wrote jokes for the fucking Chevy Chase roast. Jim Marin? <laughs> the, picture, the picture from the fucking the old uh, Seattle Mariners. Yeah. Oh no, Mark Marin. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah, okay. that makes a little more. He sense. bombed on that too. Not my jokes and bomb, but Jim? Mark? Mark Mark Marin. Or no, that guy was there. So, okay, so <laughs> it was the most miserable thing I've ever. It was the first time I ever went to a roast. This was before they were just Comedy Central, and um, Chevy Chase was like. I guess he did it because they were giving money to his wife's charity or something. Oh, okay. Didn't want to do it. Yeah. And also like. You know, his friends or whoever that's supposed to love you and show up. Now, this is before it became where yeah. nobody likes you when they show up because yeah. they're hot, hot picks or something. But yeah. none of them came. I think Martin Short and Steve Martin sent a video where they're on the set of Three Amigos Part 2 that they were just doing without him. Without him. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> it sounds funny, but the air in the room was fucking miserable. Whoa. Todd Berry actually destroyed. Uh, oh, that, I but, like that. Yeah, no, he did really he, good. He's fucking But funny. fucking... Uh, so I go out. There's an intermission. It was way too long, by the way. Right. It took forever. Always. Yeah. We go out. And then there's, I remember trying to get a drink. And there's some guy in this all white suit with like uh -huh. kind of crazy hair. 
And he just like me, these fucking Rockefellers. They're such pieces of shit. He just starts <laughs> cursing out the Rockefellers. I'm like, what a weird... This guy's ahead of his time. It's just like rich... You know, it's the Friars Club. So there's like weirdos, <laughs> connected weirdos in New York. Yeah, in yeah, it. yeah. I'm sick and tired of the Gettys getting everything. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> uh, like the Gettys? I didn't look like a guy that knows Rockefellers, by the way. Right, right, yeah. Like, Typical Rothschild answer, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, oh, remember Richard, Richard Bay? <laughs> Richard Bay was there. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm sitting at a table with Mar 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 Mark Maron's author friend and this, like, kind of hot-ish, I don't know, kind of hoey looking I don't know if he was Asian or something. I can't remember, but she was in there. That was Richard Bay's wife. Okay. okay? So he introduced his wife. He's like, hi, how are you? And he walks away, and there's this young guy that's like, and, I mean, they almost fucked right on the table. <laughs> just like Richard Bay. I like that. <laughs> yeah, they were looking at Richard Bay's back door, man. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, it was a gross time. And uh, and at the end, <laughs> Chevy Chase gives a speech of like, um, I guess this is how you all really feel about me. <laughs> like, <laughs> this miserable fucking... Not whoa. taking the jokes good at all. Why yeah, and then mean? he goes, but I'm Chevy Chase and you're not. Yes. Anyway, do you think that, that was the last... Comedy Central didn't do it with them no more after that. <sighs> I love how it was like the Friars roast on Comedy Central. I bet you Comedy Central's like, hey, nobody knows our name. Let's just do it. Yeah, what? It we doesn't mean did, anything. We just need this one Jew, Jeff so. Ross. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that yeah, is. Yes, Jeff Ross's roast, a, right? Yeah. Like, he he was like a part of everyone. We don't need these one withered ones. There's a plump Jew on the vine <laughs> that knows how to. <laughs> that we can just pick right off the yeah. vine. Use him. I like that. Yeah, I, I don't Didn't think guys I. have his kids bar mitzvah at the Friars Club? Well, Ari, one of them I wasn't allowed to, and the other one wasn't there. So maybe it was that one. Did he have, his son have to prick his finger and Were you swear allowed on the to go, or was this when you were banned from family <laughs> Yeah, were you banned? Was <laughs> banned from the house. Uh, not at all, family. Did you give him Molly, too? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he was just— Molly snooping around. He was rifling through his affairs in a desk because— uh, Allegedly. He swore he had a gun in his desk. No, not he swore. Freddie Soto. No. Dice said, oh, yes. Dice said, Dice he, said he had it, had and then Freddie I'm like, no way it. you have a gun in his desk. Because I do, I'll bet you a hundred dollars. Which at the time, I was like, I can't, I can't afford to lose right. that bet. Yeah, but I'm like, there's no way. You love so your you kids too much. <laughs> and so he, he goes, don't look, don't look in there. And I'm like, okay, but you don't have a gun. He goes, and you'll never know. And then I was just in the room. <laughs> no, no, no. Fucking Freddie Soto, burn in hell for what you did. <laughs> Why'd you look up? Why'd you look up? He knew where he was. He knew where he was. Were you in the room? Like, in, you in, the room? like in front of Dice, you did this. It wasn't. No, 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 no. We're at a party. I was around and I was like, oh, let me go in this room. And then Freddie's like, he's snooping. And Dice One is like, you're banned forever. Was it Dylan? I didn't open the drawer. I think what you should have. What is this bullshit? I should have. If I gotta be banned, I should have. I just remember because Dylan. You'll never know. Dylan was the aggressive one who was like, he needs to be punished. Who's Dylan? As, his Andrew's kids. kids. But then Ari got banned from Freddie's house too for rifling through. Uh, How did I get banned stuff. from Freddie? You were going through his stuff is upstairs. That true? Ari. Hey, do we take Google breaks for who these people are? <laughs> 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 Let me just give it a goog. Hey, I'll be honest with you. Hey, can you Google's bring it up? not going to have most of these. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to start a copy of Wikipedia. For Google. <laughs> I don't know all the lore of that. Yeah, Google <laughs> schizophrenic uh, rock vet. How dare and he's you not the know patio. the story? What we're gonna do is we're gonna just record Argus giving a, a brief <laughs> synopsis of each character. This, this looks like a guy that would rat you out. It, it does. It does. Like it Let me like, see. It looks like a guy that's like vibe. Oh, how dare you! He that's looks just like he would rat you out, dude. Like he's like, oh, I know. I'll be Dice's favorite. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right on. Turncoat. Can you imagine? How dare you? <laughs> You'll never know. The the fact that he said that entitles you. Ent that's correct. Kurt. Entitles you to go you. through the drawer. That's correct. You yes. know what? He set you Metzger up. Metzger would a... never be allowed over. <laughs> <laughs> I would I never have anybody. <laughs> well, but you were new, right? No, I, no, I no, was here for he 43. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He'd be 30. It's about 20 so. years ago. I was yeah. 43. Yeah, but okay, 20 years ago still. If you can't win a $100 bet. I I was told, you know, I was like, sure Dice I was right. literally said something to me. It was like, he invited me to something. And I'm like, are Ari and Steve going to be there? And he was like, Ari. That'd be Steve Ren is easy. I yeah. mean, in case you don't want to Google things, yeah. just go ahead. And he said, Ari is no longer coming to the house. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, what? And he was like, he's banned because Ari is snooping. <laughs> Dice would do these things where he's like, it's funny to play this game. Oh, yeah. And, but Intentionally. I'll, I'll not just be like, no, nah, I'm just joking. You're not. And he'll be like, oh, no, I'll die with this. Yeah. You'll never be allowed in any of my homes. It's for the joke. I can't just be like. Did you send him a thank you card at least? I should have sent him a thank you. I should have sent him a gun or bullets for his fucking gun. <laughs>
It was, I a, don't know. It was a weird era of dice because there was like. Why days you guys where he'd be look like, at me when you say that, so, Rich? Oh, Eleanor. She was sleeping with this guy. <laughs> she was getting <laughs> plugged on the nightly. At the same no, time, noise. he was calling me at like, like noon and being like, come over to the house. We're going to Toys R Us. <laughs> and like, what? Not for me. He yeah. had kids. And we'd go to Toys R Us, and I thought he was like buying shit for his kids. And then he'd be like, let's go ride the bikes. <laughs> and then he's just riding the bikes around Toys R Us. And then it's all black employees, and they have no idea who he is. And the guy's like, sir, you can't ride in the store. And he's like, but I'm going to buy it if I like it. <laughs> and then there's just a lot of... A bartering about, well, can I ride it a foot and a half? Wouldn't that be okay? <laughs> and then they told us to leave, and then he stopped at a karaoke machine and did Sammy Davis for the guy. <laughs> and the is this what Judd like, Apatow's funny people is based on? That is what I'm hearing. <laughs> and then we left, I'm like, why did we do that? And he was like, because it's fun. <laughs> what a lonely man. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he was going through it. Oh, wait, yeah, were we together divorced. or were... It, yeah, they're, they're going through the divorce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so what well, Eleanor was best friends with his wife, and she no, no, was no. fucking Ari, him in her Ari, bed. all of this. Uh, this is after Ari dated. <laughs> <already dated. laughs> These are all untruths. All right, Ari and I never Kurt. dated. Let's include Kurt in Let's some stuff. Kurt. Kurt, who are the three comics you'd like to see taken out of comedy forever? <laughs> oh, I like this. It's a good segment. Only three. You only get you three. three. You only get three. You don't get top because three. Because he's got... It, it, doesn't have night, okay. it doesn't have to be dramatic. It could just be Listen, you'd like to we, see them live we, a nice we, life somewhere else. One oh. night, one night, we're Link Coblet to the cellar. There was like nobody there. It was just weird there at the table. And we got into a who has to get out of comedy. Okay. Yeah. Okay? So we started throwing out names. And then it got like way out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> and this was like 500 long. Dude, so first it's ones we all could agree on. Yeah. And then... Right. Then it would be like, oh, but I like them. Like, now nah, they got to go. And you'd have to, like, trade their lives. Oh, okay. shit. <laughs> and then we started making deep cuts. I like I it. Like <laughs> okay? And at one point, I mean, I mean, it got it got just out of hand. It was like, at one point, it was all Latin comics. That's not reasonable. <laughs> that is not reasonable. <laughs> not reasonable at all. Latin comics not reasonable. At all. Not reasonable. <laughs> okay? I agree. I admit it was wrong, the whole thing. But finally... <laughs> Uh, I go, the entire Chelsea Lately panel <laughs> and fucking Chelsea Handler was just standing no, right there. No, no yeah. way. And just turns around and looks at me <laughs> like, oh, that was weird. So now what? I'll never do that ever again. Because <laughs> well, Chelsea's, Chelsea's here. Chelsea's here. Bring her in. Bring her in. <laughs> that was my shot with Chelsea Handler. You could have gotten on the panel. I could have taught her how the sun and moon work. <laughs> your your <laughs> jealousy. You would have crushed on that show. I could have been in the Ben Glebe, the, co yes. <laughs> the coveted Glebe spot. <laughs> <laughs> the coveted. I'd be the one running for president. Incredibly. I love Ben Glee. Damn it! Yeah, went to his birthday. <laughs> they never years in either. He's the nicest. Ari, did you do the Chelsea panel? No, that never seems like once. yours. No, yeah. I did submit did for a writing packet though. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> well, good That's birth. so your demographic. <laughs> I would only say that to someone I truly despise. <laughs> it is like a Howard. Oh, what the fuck is that supposed to be, Rick? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's it's very, you seem like you had a good year and a half run in the Quad Cities because of Chelsea lately. <laughs> they were big. That was the original Joe Rogan. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You could really you could really mid the road for a while <laughs> on that credit. Mid the road's a great podcast. Yes. That's where you bring up these names. <laughs> Mid the road. You guys that don't is... know Steve Kramer? That guy was huge. <laughs> From Wichita to all the way to St. Joe, Missouri for a solid two years. <laughs> oh, my God. He was God. on a TV show with Shane Matosh. You guys don't know him? Oh, my God. That's <laughs> so brutal, Rick. <laughs> I, yeah, there's. I think the who's list the one is from, too long. Wait, who's the one? Okay, we'll just go with who COVID decided. <laughs> wait, who's the one that um she fell yeah, that stage. lady. She was probably her the biggest one to come out of that show. Oh, What's wait a name? minute. It'll come to me. I know, I'm playing Yeah, out. no, 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 because we just Bethany had Jessica. Heather something. Heather McDonald. Heather McDonald. Dude, that's oh, the yeah. craziest fucking... I thought she was doing a bit. One night I walked out. It looked out. like a bit. It was she right... Cha -cha. Me too, yeah. <laughs> right after uh, that happened, it was like either that night or the night after, I walked out on the main room and I tripped over the court and I was like, oh my God, almost Heather McDonald. And nobody got it except for Justin Martindale who was standing yeah. in the corner screaming, laughing. Yeah. But no one heard of her or like even knew. I I it was just why didn't she save it for the podcast? Sorry. <laughs> no one knows who she is. <laughs> 
I, she yeah. and no one in the audience, but she's yeah, right. got a huge podcast. Yeah. Huge following. Gigantic. Yeah. I've never had a following as big as hers. No. Cut around That's this. what I'm saying. Please like, cut around this. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. I can't pull yeah. off those kind of pratfalls either. So you know. No, it's tough. That's this, tough. I mean, she was saying, I've I've I got the vaccine, I got a booster. I can't get COVID. Nothing could touch no, me. No, 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 oh. no. That wasn't it. Was, she goes, she goes, it Anna was. traveling. Jesus loves me the best. Ooh. And then Whoa. cha-cha yeah. over. And Hit her head on the stand. Mm -hmm. Then the then there's an interview with Dr. Drew like a few days later. And she's got sunglasses on because both her eyes are... I mean, she got fu fucked up. I already up. knew fucked. she was fucked up, so I didn't laugh when I saw it, but I think the crowd's laughing. Yeah, it looked like a joke. Well, at first, yeah. I, I thought it was a joke. That's and the then thing. I'll fall if over. I, it's if a I didn't know, I would have yeah. been laughing too. I'm like, oh, it's funny, because like it was like every black comedy room that I did where somebody's hitting themselves with a the mic, you know? Yeah. And then they were like, cloak, and you know. <laughs> and uh, But I already knew, so when I heard the noise, I was like, oh. So like, and, uh, and she's always, she goes, have you ever heard of anything... Like that happening from uh, uh, getting the shot, and he goes, "Yeah, actually, I have. I have a friend who is uh, paralyzed in the left side of his body now." <gasps> and she goes, "She goes, uh, well, I think I'm not going to get the fourth one. <laughs> oh, the fourth shit. one. Fourth. You're supposed to have eight by now." No. -uh. Yeah. Damn. If you follow the guidelines, oh. nobody got eight. I bet. I, I got eight. Not. I got eight the first week. And then uh, was one that I stopped from Good there. Good job. I kept thinking I my name. I signed up as an employee of the comedy store. So yeah, so did I. Didn't, I, one, didn't I? So. Can we all do that? Probably. To <laughs> so get in line early. I was at Ecuador. So I was like waiting, looking at everybody, get in line, fake the lines, waiting at CVS. Like maybe some old people won't show up. Yeah. Get the last ones. So you got it because you were out of the country? No, I was out of the country. And when you guys stopped fighting, <laughs> when it was just available, that I oh, came back. Hilarious. We're like, you can just sign up. You can get it tomorrow if you want. <laughs> did you get COVID? <laughs> Uh, he probably. has it now. <laughs> yeah, well, now I had it like a month ago. Really? Well, yeah, but you know, whatever. You just, it's harder to masturbate. Weren't we hanging out? I don't think that's true. Can we, is there a way we can do a contest? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some get COVID, COVID patients down here. See, you can hit the yeah. ceiling. <laughs> I, I bet I get it up there first. Squirt Central over there. I can fucking hit it. <laughs> Easy. Uh, yeah, Easy. I know how to and squirt the, it. The somebody, ceiling. Sweet told me, uh, I hardly ever see her. Oh, Lori Kilmorton wears like an air freshener or air... Like Purifier? A, it looks like a tape deck. Oh, oh. Like around her neck for COVID. Oh, really? Well, I, her parents in her fairness, in her defense, uh, her mom did, that did take her mom out and she wasn't, I believe. Someone was trying to get the vaccine and shoved her mom over to get in front it's of not, her So, and hit so her I get it. If, she's, if, she, if you watch somebody go because of that, it, it'll fuck you up. So I get it. To where I become Darth Vader? Listen, it's none of my business I, what like people see, do. I'd like to see the <laughs> full Darth Vader protection. Yeah, a lot of people. people Darth Vader it. would not get COVID. No. I, I was on a plane. Really? He's got a lot of comorbidities. A lot of people were wearing burns. the whole thing. He's on a, an iron lung. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that called? If he did get it, he's dead. But Who? I think that mask keeps him safe. Who? Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Yeah. Garth, I, a lot of people. Garth, Garth, Garth Vader. Garth Vader. Garth Vader. Garth. Garth. Is that his name, Garth? <laughs> it's his original name, except he got burned and then he changed he to Darth. Yeah, I think he was... It was hard to hear him through the mask, so they were like, Darth. All right, he's saying Darth. Darth. Yeah, is there Darth. anybody that you were hoping was going to be on the Epstein list because you hate them and you were disappointed that, like, oh. No, I didn't. Rape any kids? Bro, I was hoping that they would invite me on the list. Paul, Who you cares? were invited? Dude, yeah, dude. You were on there? Dude, I tried to you get nobody in if they have not Frey? Did you, who cares about the Epstein list? Did you see Cat Williams name a lot of people and throw them under the mm -hmm. bus? That's great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was I'm glad you funny. brought that up because you're if on you don't the follow list? black shit, um, yeah. there's a whole P. Diddy, uh, 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 oh, yeah. Puffery Dadstein, it turns out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. P. Diddy's fucking kids, right? Yeah, he had fucking a thing called Aaliyah. Flavor Camp. But that's been going on a long time. But it's, it's just, just got to the white world. That's when getting... Justin Bieber started misbehaving after a weekend of Flavor Camp. <laughs> He started getting real molested. -y. Flavor camp. Yeah, that's what they called it. Usher went there to flavor camp. Hilarious. Dude, everyone you remember from the nineties that was Is in hip hop. Fucked. Yeah. Yeah. They, in the they're ass either by molested Diddy. or secretly gay, molesting the artist. By Diddy. Oh, Diddy is like Diddy is diddling. That's how he got his name. I think so. Was it really? In fact, <laughs> do you see a clip that goes? He diddle do. Uh, of Kevin, it's Kev, fucking Kevin. This is one of the funniest things I've ever seen him do. It's so it's funny. It's Kevin Hart and P, P. Diddy and Usher, <laughs> and P. Diddy's got his arm around Usher. And he's like, "Yeah, this is my brother here. We used to wake up early and wrestle over the frosted flakes." And Kev goes, 
Nobody's going to say anything, right? He just said they used to rest over the frosted flakes. Did anybody just, what the fuck is wrong with you? And Bob's our buddy goes, it's stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> it's one of the greatest Kev because nobody would say anything. Yeah. But it's one of the craziest fucking. Yes. That's yeah. a little odd. Yeah, so. P. Diddy's actually here. Bring him in. Oh, if hey, you P. Could, P. What a, what I believe it just because of uh, in all white <laughs> bad boys of comedy. You know, Big J. P. Diddy, yeah. Comedy. This Big J has a purse now. He's whoa, whoa, fucking, whoa, 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 He got fucked by P. Diddy. Oh, so the contract. Oh, full circle. Big J. Skank. <laughs> wow. P. Diddy will molest you <laughs> on a Sony lot. <laughs> The contract for Bad Boys of Comedy said if it was like we were not on hardly any shit at that time. Okay. It was yeah. like Jay had maybe had done Comic View and got this. Okay? What was Bad Boys of Comedy? Was that HBO? No, that was Norton Show Show's HBO. This predated it by about six months. And they said if you did that one, you couldn't do the other one. Oh, that's it. right. Well, Jay got chose it. wisely. The P <laughs> they did the P Bitty Bad the Boys of Comedy. Yeah, the contract said if you get Bad any, Boy. Yeah, if you get any major shit or like whatever deal in the next 10 years after you appear on Pete Diddy's Bad Boys of Comedy, yeah. mm -hmm. he gets uh, 10% of your... Cause those because he made you. Yeah. Luckily, Jay did not get anything in those 10 years. Yeah. No, <laughs> like, we really talked about it. Jay's like, I know Holy I won't be anywhere. No, our manager at the time, Ken Truge Management, uh, said just cross <laughs> that part off and initial it. Oh. Is that how contracts work? I, I wasn't Sometimes. invited. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. I wasn't invited on the program, so... <laughs> Man, you got hurts. a lot of contracts you sign? No, but I, I believe in reading them. Your uh, shit with Kyle is so fucking good. Forget so fucking, fucking funny. Done. Forget one done. Fuck. It takes forever. It does? Kyle is the most ADHD. I'm I get ADHD. it. I'm, I'm pretty ADHD. But his when he does Rocky, I don't like to bring Rocky up because Rick's been shitting on him for four episodes straight. <laughs> That's what guys have. I'm a fan. I do you like the movie Rocky? Yeah. Any of them? Slice. We had Frank Stallone on. He doesn't like oh, it. He's a legend. Rock, Frank Stallone I mean, is the guy. I can respect He's the Frank. man. Frank Hilarious. Frank was the real so talent. Kyle yeah. does sly talking to Frank. And you know, all these people always he was like, I think he was drunk or something. He's like Not nervous. my Frank. Yep. You know, he's nervous. People are nervous if they think he's gonna be like Oh yeah. You know. Who is nervous? Frank Stallone. Frankie. Or he maybe just drinks a lot. But I, cut I this, it cut it nice. out, cut this out. <laughs> oh, There's water in the shot. Water. She's no. so water. Cut it out. Okay, back in and we're back. Wooder? Did you get water? Water? I got water in the shot. My fault. So Kyle starts doing Sly and he does it slick. He just over compliments him. He goes, You didn't help me. You didn't give me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you teach me to sing, Frank. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Frank yeah. Stallone. Oh, yeah, his Stallone shit. <laughs> Rick, stop trying to get me wet. Stop it. You know what goes on. Yeah, I'm obsessed with him. So, But you you guys have been doing a lot. What are you saying? You, you're not putting enough out? Is that what you're feeling? We got, we're we we're, we're, uh, haven't finished the second episode of The Talk Down yet. Got it. Do you okay. see The Talk Down? No, what's yeah. The Talk Down? It's celebrity news. Yes. Not about it's celebrities. Great. Celebrities telling you the news. <laughs> yes. And how they feel about it. Yeah. <laughs> the Talk Down. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty genius. Actually. I actually really love, I mean, I love it all, but I love how they've instituted commercials in there where it'll just be Ben Shapiro like talking about, like, I think Trump is the best. And then he goes, You know what else is the best? <laughs> oh, no, that's what, that's what we do with Live, Ben. Yeah. LiveLeak.com, where you can get all your best videos at all times. And he just like, when he shows the video, the commercials over, he goes, Get all this stuff at once with this promo code. <laughs> Another thing, Mr. Trump. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like Kevin Rock. It's almost the Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see that. We do that with. Uh, You're gonna have to Google him that. Talking name. to Biden, and, 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 and like, I don't oh know, yeah, his Biden. Biden thinks he's transgender. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that whole fucking Jenga. video was fucking, great. He Biden falls asleep. There's not a lot to unpack there. He's like, we have our friends at Sherry's Berry. He just goes into his Sherry's Berries. <laughs> just give the gift of, of strawberries dipped in chocolate. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Is Sherry's Berry still around? They were like uh, the no. original podcast. Uh, yeah, it just sounds sponsor. like something he oh, would go wow. into. Adam and Eve and Sherry's Berry. You can have a Scottish title. <laughs> <laughs> we were with Four Hymns very briefly. Four oh, Hymns. yeah. So you guys yeah. had a sponsor on right. here. We did. And they did not care for O'Neill was on the episode. Oh, yeah, we did. Me and O'Neill and, and Jeff, I and think. And not sponsor-friendly. Didn't they both fuck it up? There was a lot up? of... It's not ad safe. It was pretty much... 
four Jim Painters doing a <laughs> uh, sales pitch for getting rock hard. You're going to Google it? And I don't think yeah, they were in on it. You know who James cock. Painter is? Good for him if you want to be rock fucking hard. Yeah. <laughs> Our sponsor help. was Auto Blow. There's no way to lose that sponsor. What is it? Auto Blow AI. No, what is that? Auto Blow? It looks like a fucking Xbox, but it sucks your dick. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Now we're talking. Literally, my head work. went to six different things, and yeah, none, none of them, them were that. that. Um, it plugs into the wall, so it's plugged in the wall. Smart. <laughs> Plug it in. And your yeah, dick that's... gets plugged into that. And um, the guy said we sold, like— Does it get clogged a lot? We sold what? A lot? Well, I couldn't fit my dick in it, but— uh, Whoa, excuse me. Uh, they gave us <laughs> Hello, free, no, they we... gave us free this ones. This thing was Kurt's made in Japan, Milton. Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen anything like that. I, I'd say Korea. <laughs> I go so far as to say Korea. Wow, uh, it's not what you want. In real your people dick buy them, machine, and they have a new wow. one with three holes. That was, we Why? Put so, it, so you can do it together? No, we do it on pussies. Yeah, you guys said it's the same. Yeah. You can sell it on pussies. Oh, so, so Michael Michael sells. You can save women from mouth unpaid mouth labor with this. Device. Well, I just had a root canal, and I'm uncomfortable with this whole conversation. Yeah, auto blow AI, and then he's holding this fucking. Can thing we and, get them? Ball, did you hook it up? <laughs> hook it up. You he's baby taking dissolved. notes. I'm sure if it's people hoping to get in and the uh, doorman thing. <laughs> How many times have you put your dick in a glory hole and thought, wouldn't it be nice if there was a robot on the other side of this? <laughs> well, now you can. Or two other holes. <laughs> Instead of nothing or an angry dog. <laughs> Tired of fucking robots by yourself? Why not bring two friends? <laughs> the new adapter really changes the game. I only have one charger, so we got to stay close. But that's crazy. Three holes? It had, yeah, it had a mouth. I mean, it, really, it's just, it's not really three holes. It, it's just three different fucking Sizes? Outer, outer configuration. Nah, you, have uh, no, you have no sense of wonder. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you did Moon Tower the first one they gave out fleshlights as a fucking... I left that there. Well, <laughs> Why? I took home an <laughs> anus and a vagina. <laughs> and, uh, to and fuck I, the anus? Like a flesh anus? Well, I didn't know what I'd get to. I hadn't tried it. Got and it. I, I yeah. tried. You Can you put them it. together and make the them one? Oh, I remember. Devil's Tornado. I like and I, I've That's the only time I've ever felt bad. About yourself. You, Fucking a flashlight. When I put it on, I was like, this is wrong. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm not this big of a loser. That's why I left it. Yeah. I was taking a shit, so I thought I'd do it quick. Oh, okay. uh, Kurt. Get it yeah. out. Does that, that help happens. the shit? No. no. Today's episode is brought to you by the Octofist Fucker 8000. <laughs> it's the only machine that fucks you with eight fists, eight different ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I saw a great a clip of fucking Steve Harvey talking about when he hung out with Michael Jackson. Did you ever see him talk about that? And they yeah. fucked. Uh, was it his story he or his Cat ass. Williams' story? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, does he? Is he a no, Jay I'm Moore? kidding. They oh. joke. He, he said he, he stole a lot of his stuff. To watch the clip because it's really funny because he. It's actually pretty funny because he's making fun of Michael Jackson. Right. Brought him to church. Okay, so he, Michael Jackson came dressed like Captain Crunch. That's <laughs> <laughs> a church. He goes, all these straps and zones. He goes, why you got all this equipment on? <laughs> the bit solid, but what's funny is... It's a bit solid. He's talking about it, and you could see like a man doing everything to not put two and two together. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He goes, no, he's just rich. He got a lot of money. It would, it would change you. It's like everything not to accept the very obvious thing. <laughs> Giant obvious thing. Like Liberace rich. He, goes, no, he need the Lord. He He's need the Lord. <laughs> as Captain Obvious, and they're not Michael getting Michael got giraffe yeah. money. Yeah. That's a great bit, I'm telling you. No, I believe you. Know you know you can't get no giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I know that bit, yeah. It's pretty good. How many buttons on the suit? It's not so much the buttons, it's got like a twinkle to it. Oh. That's nice. It's a yeah. gray suit with the, I mean, four it, buttons is a, a but nice suit. I don't think suit. he wears that to church. I told, uh, I told Chris when the tour started that if he kept me on long enough, I was going to dress solely in something from the Steve Harvey collection. <laughs> <laughs> what, like Doug Stanhope? <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's a very similar look. Go on the road with Stanhope. You buy a salesman? Come Stanhope on. will get a suit where the lining matches the socks. I love Stanhope. <laughs> he does have great outfits. Unbelievable yeah. outfits. They match his decor of his <coughs> whole area he lives COVID. in. COVID. That was the COVID. That was the COVID. COVID. No. Brian's got to know. It we really all have like COVID. A it out. Like black guy <laughs> suits out. on a, out, right? black guy suits on like a a small-ish white guy looks like Harpo Marx classic comedy. <laughs> like a fat tie. <laughs> Extra fat. Like on Tom and Jerry when he would make a suit out of the curtains. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you can blend in. So we got to surprise him. <laughs> hey, daddy-o. <laughs> Hold on. Are you doing Barry Diamond's bits again? <laughs> 
He doesn't know who that That's is. Bob Cat. No, I know Barry Diamond is. Oh, you do? He's yeah. a huge Diamond fan. Oh, no, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. You got yeah. his whole he collection. He directed Diamond in the Rough. The Barry Diamond. <laughs> yeah. It's a seven part mini. I won't series. rest until we have a title, every possible title with Diamond in it for him. I was in his act. He used to be in his act. What is that? That's when I. Uh, Skanks! Skanks! That's a terrible Wait a name. <laughs> That's my wife, Eleanor, 14 years old. But I realized I'd been working here too long when I aged in his in act. I went from 14 to 17. Yeah. And I was like, I got. I think I got to quit this fucking job. At fucking this point. Eleanor. <laughs> fucking old are you again? Eleanor. I'm not fucking working for you. That's Katie, in case you were wondering. That's our favorite waitress. Wait, I like when he just goes blank as we talk <laughs> yeah, about Yeah, it's great. I was trying to, I was trying to identify the autistic stare. Is she from Boston? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. What the fuck made you think that? What are you, some kind of fucking rocket scientist? Super or sleuth or something. Come fuck me in the bathroom. <laughs> down in Providence. She was she, getting fucked in the bathroom. She'd only fucking bathroom. She'd fuck in really... the bathroom, and then someone would come into the bathroom. She'd go, uh, shut, shut the one, fucking door. Shut the fucking It's a one saw. They changed it. It was just one seater. And she'd be like, oh. And then they keep fucking someone else would come in two minutes later. She would shut the fucking door. And it's like, <laughs> no lock, lock it. <laughs> just lock it. <laughs> I think that's the word, honestly, of the most unfuckable accents. It's, yeah, everybody it's says that. Yeah. Everybody says that. Yeah. Boston? I is mean, it worse like, than work? It is. Worse than no. no, yeah. Philly? One. Ugly women, too. It's not just the accent. <laughs> pasty, pasty. That's just the That's, that's, that's Irish. rude, Ari. Well, that's I'm pretty pasty. <laughs> Irish have only two outcomes. Yeah. To their face. Old baby and spooky witch. <laughs> oh, that's what Dom used to say. Ski, ski skanks or ski like... Skank. What was the other one? They said they're beautiful or their forehead and chin touch. Yes, or? yes, yes, yes. Well, I was thinking of men go, mostly because of like Bobby Kelly's old baby, <laughs> Bill Burr old baby, Colin yeah. Quinn spooky witch, Dennis Leary spooky witch. I'm uh, in the middle, I think. I might be spooky witch. I don't know. Witch. I've never even thought about it for women. I was only thinking of men. I like that. Or well, maybe you can Rick Irish. Hang out with Barry Sobel. Hmm. What what's the Irish? spectrum he's on? I'm well, kind of I'm before kind of Irish. old baby, but of? after the molestation, my, my spooky mom's, witch. <laughs> yeah, I'm asking to say my mom's an O'Brien. So Rich Ingraham. Ingraham. <laughs> <laughs> you just say it. I always say Ingraham. <laughs> Ingraham. It's way. Oh, it's Mr. Ingraham. Ingraham. <laughs> Come over here. I'll cut All my the Ingrahams off. are here. <laughs> uh, wait, your mom's Irish and your dad's Irish, or no? He's English and Swedish. Oh wow! What did you go over there and grab her and bring her back? I mean, he, I mean, he the had Swedish the, he had part the and the English part. A few <laughs> generations, and then we got in there. Got, in those <laughs> got guts. it somehow. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, you're in the house helping out the family. You're gonna get up in those guts. Yeah, yeah. you have to. I'll be in the bottom of the Titanic where I belong. <laughs> <laughs> So All right, sick. so where can they find you guys? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> what are your sponsors? Do you guys do you still podcast? Are you guys doing comedy? I stop my podcast. I know, Ari. Why? I'm bored of it. I got bored of it. Yeah. But now you have a podcast? I did. I got bored of it, too. Wow, <laughs> both got bored of it. Well, yeah. I have a... Other Couldn't get sponsors, guy. huh? <laughs> All right, has, no. Yeah. Oh, that's how he got elected king of the skanks. <laughs> that's why he won in a fair and free election. That's for that fucking pretzel, dude. I think we should sanction them. You want that? You get that pretzel. <laughs> sanction them for sure. One more time. This okay. is free fucking mustard stained napkin. If you get that pretzel at the comedy store, two Golden's packets. I don't want anybody to know where I am. All right. Don't find <laughs> I'll be in Boston. listening, guys. I'll be all over. Uh, um, yeah, check them out if you can find them. They don't Jimmy really Dore care show to tell you. And, uh, uh, the talk down. On, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. YouTube. Jimmy Dore show. I want to do that Jimmy Dore so show. I like funny. watching those clips sometimes, but I don't know any of the stuff. You seem to, just, I want to just like be on there and be like, wait, 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 wait. What's that? Yeah, they're so I would just so do that smart. a bunch. Wait, wait, wait. What, what happened? And Jimmy's I would just keep so having to back crazy. them up. Oh, that would, that would be great. <laughs> 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 that was convincing. That'd be great. I could just see Jimmy getting really into his <laughs> Irish points and then that shit. Wait, 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 wait. The Hold Afghan what was it? Who out who went to Afghanistan? <laughs> <laughs> who started that one? Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> How are you not hot as hell? He's I got am, COVID. Or, He's dying on the yeah, inside. I've got shivers and, sh and chills and fever at the same time. Well, I've got all that, but that's just from hearing about Jimmy Fallon. I didn't hear that. <laughs> right, right, right. The shoe drop with what he said. You still eat, you still eat in and out burger I'm as on... much as you can now that he moved here? No. What burger? In and out. He came to visit me. He would eat it like fucking four times a day. It was really? a novelty when I first got it. <laughs> then like, you got sick of it? It's been 
fucking many years. Yeah, it's probably been 15 years since then. Oh, 15 wow. years. I'm still sum you up as that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, angry. Metzger, the in and out guy? <laughs> I, would, I would argue, but he was right with the in stern thing. <laughs> Um, thanks for listening, guys. Come to the comedy I a, store. I, I have a girlfriend. She makes stuff. Oh, she's what does she make? Does she make in and out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. If you know what I mean. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> guys, find Don't me at Kermaster that. Comedy on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Like, subscribe, all that. Follow these freaks. Follow these freaks.